Lexi Summers, 47 South Wells Street, Wilkesburg. Um, the street cleaning this year, um, there was the schedule. I notified people in my neighborhood. People moved their cars. And on that day, the water truck came down the street and sprayed. And the street cleaner followed after it. And about, they were going like 20 miles an hour. And they went right down the middle of the street, and that was the end of it. So um, our gutters are still filled with leaves and trash. Our storm drains are still blocked. Uh, the street cleaning was, it was useless. I mean, it, it, a couple times they came through last year, they go right down the middle of the street. Um, the Department of Public Works is usually very good. I keep uh, the vacant lots on the street. I try to keep them, the garbage picked up and, um, and keep them mowed. But, uh, and they will pick up that garbage. They, they're not so good about picking up the yard waste that I put out there. But, you know, when you have something like this, if you're going to have one day that you're going to clean the streets, then let's get the streets clean. That's, we have a lot of trees on South Wells Street and it's filthy. Uh, another thing that I would like to ask uh, council to consider would be a clutter cleanup. Uh, last year, talking to the citizens of Wilkesbury, uh, there was two items, garbage-wise, that were on people's minds. And one was clutter cleanup and the other was city bags. And it might be worth investigating if in Hanover they have uh, tickets or stickers that they put on the windows. Some places have stickers for regular bags. But what I've seen in our community is there's a lot of people who do not have the money for city bags, and a lot of them are tenants. So if landlords have to buy a sticker for a window, for garbage pickup, like in Hanover, then the people who don't have the money for city bags, their garbage will still be picked up instead of being dropped off in the vacant lots or stashed behind the houses. Uh, last year, the house next door to me had I don't know, 70 bags of garbage when they finally bagged it up that was building up behind the houses. So, I, I'm wondering if maybe we can think of a different way to pick up our garbage that will help the people of this city dispose of their waste in an easier manner. And also clutter cleanup. We used to do this with permits. And um, I think there's many people in this city who would buy a permit for that four foot by eight foot chunk that they can put their stuff out and have a clutter cleanup. Um, you know, there is issues with people digging through the stuff, pulling the metal out, but maybe if we could do it um, zone by zone, like the street cleaning was supposed to be done, so that it can be picked up in a timely manner uh, before all the good stuff is uh, taken away and salvaged, you know, so the city can actually maybe get some money back. But these are just some ideas I'd like council to think about. Um, and that were very, very important to the citizens of this city. Um, I talked to thousands of them so, um, last year, and I just wanted to bring it up, and that's it. Thank you. I have one question for you. Uh, for the people that you, that you talked to about the clutter, clutter cleanup, did they mention what they think that would, what would be, they'd be willing to pay? Um, there was Years back, we had a $20 permit, right. but somebody just recently said to me $40. And I would think that if we, I guess we have to try and figure out what the whole cost of this type of thing would be. And I don't know how you go about doing that. Um, and then, you know, I mean, might as well start, maybe you could have a four by four by four for, I don't know, $25 and a four by eight by four for $50. But it is a problem. Um, the only problem with that is 
when you say four by four, the length of the house is 70 feet, there's 70 feet from garbage, four by six feet. And they still only pay $20. After it's out, you got to pick it up. And that's a problem there. Yeah, yeah I mean, and, and there is. There's, there's issues with it. So these are things that would have to be discussed, but people have no way to get rid of this stuff. Oh, I, we understand. That. Like I said, the cost is uh, it's prohibitive. I mean, once you start putting something out in the curb, you clean out your whole cellar. <coughs> and if you pay a $20 fee, no matter how much is out there, the city's going to pick it up. And then when you dump it, it's $200, $300 to dump it. And, you, you know, we can't afford it. Now, I'm the garbage bag. I would think now, since we went into the single stream recycling, that should cut down on everyone's garbage. I know it's cut down on mine immensely. Yes. So that in itself should have been a good help to anyone who is actually doing their recycling. And I see many people don't do that. Yes. And, and I'm not sure how we educate better for that also. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Yes.